Okay. You want to go to print? You, I'm just setting up my screen how yours will look when you first open it up. If you downloaded all of Epson Utilities and Drivers, your settings should look like this. If not, then you didn't download everything. So, I went to Show Details. And then, my first thing I went to was Print Settings. You're going to you're gonna choose whichever cassette you are printing from. I'm doing 13 by 19, so I had to do Paper Tray. Next, you'll want to choose the type of paper that you are using for sublimation i always do premium presentation paper mat whenever i'm doing sublimation i use my own personal paper that i have and your print quality you always want to do best quality in these settings you want to also turn on mirror image you don't have to worry about mirroring your image as long as you turn it on. The next thing you want to go to is your color options. Yours may come up like this, but you want to change it to manual settings. And you want to change the mode to Adobe RG RGB and Gamma 2.2. Me personally, I don't change anything else in this setting. Next, you want to go to color matching. Here, you want to go to color sync. If you have any profiles, this is where you will change your profiles at. I don't have any profiles, so I just use the Epson profile for the moment until I install all my profiles. After that is done, you want to go ahead and save your settings. So whenever you come back, you don't have to worry about doing these settings all over. <coughs> you want to go to save current and name it whatever you want to name it. Once you name it, whatever you want to name it, just press the OK. I have named mine as TikTok tutorial just for the tutorial. And when you leave and come out, your settings are saved. You go to whatever you saved it as, and it's there. And all you got to do is print. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial.